Awesome. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday Night Live with uh, Len Nakamoto and Ron Hulbert. And we are so glad that everybody's with us. Um, hope you was able to make the webinar today with Ash McFarra. It was awesome. He shared some great information with us, uh, some exciting information with us. And uh, things are rolling, people. January is going to be the month of the rolling uh, thunder. So uh, what we're going to do real quick is, Linda, do you want to say anything real quick? I think we can just go ahead and begin. Maybe Alrighty. give a, an indication of what we're going to be doing tonight so people here will know. We're okay. going to start with a summary of Asher's meeting today, which was significant. He's had some really good things to say. And then we'll have uh, Julie. Well, she'll come in and she's going to be talking about own network and posts in the old network community. And then we're going to have an opportunity for attendees to give their feedback about O network. Um, oh, after um, Marty talks about Ash's meeting, of course, it's going to be open for questions. If you have any questions or comments about what Ash said, I forgot that part. And then after O network, we will then move into any challenges or wrinkles that you have with the back office. And we have quite a few leadership council members here today who are gonna be a great resource for us to answer any questions that we may have. So let's start with uh, Marty DeGarmo. Beautiful. You have the floor. You have Hello the floor. everybody, yeah, thank you. Happy Friday, the 7th of December, believe, uh, January, believe it or not, I can't believe it. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go over a couple things. One is on the, on the webinar tonight, as had mentioned something pretty significant for some people. I don't know how many, but definitely uh, a few. Um, if you have an email, but you don't have access to it, you have an email, but you can't log into it to, to get the, um, the code that's set, they're going to give a grace period of about 72 hours starting sometime on Monday. Everybody will know when. I don't know the exact time. But when that happens, have a new email ready, okay? And when I mean email, I found out in the last few days that I, I realized that some people don't understand how to create an email. Uh, if you want to create an email, I prefer, and so does the company, Gmail. You would go to Gmail, go to actual Gmail, and create an, an account. Some people think, no kidding, that you could just create an email in your head, write it down, and it becomes an email. That's not how it works. You have to go to the provider, whether it's Gmail, Yahoo, whoever it is. And when you get there, there's a way to create an, create an account. Then you'll go in and you might ask, I want Ron Hoover at gmail.com. And it might say, not available, which means somebody else has that name. Now he might be able to go Ron uh, one over at gmail.com and it's available. Then it's yours. You fill out the rest of the information. It takes you back to the account. Now, now you own that Gmail name and account. Okay. I, I didn't realize, but some people think they could just write down I had somebody tell me I, I got a Gmail. Where'd you get it? I created it. I didn't know they meant they created it in their head. That doesn't make it a Gmail account. The only way to make an account is go to the actual provider. If you own a Gmail account now and you want to make a new account, you can go to your picture or your icon, could be the letter of your name on the top right-hand corner, click it, there'll be a drop-down window. Okay, go to another account. You click it and it'll say, create another account or go to another account. You can create an account. And then here's the really important part when Monday comes along. This is for people that don't have access to their email. When you go on Monday and you wanna change your email, if you make a new email over the weekend, make sure when you go to Gmail to make a new email, that you do a backup email. It will ask you alternative. When you're making your email, it will say, what backup email do you want? Example, I make on passivenation at gmail.com. 
What's your backup? Team now money at gmail.com. So if I lose my password, I say send a code to my backup email, which is team now money at gmail.com. I get the code, I don't lose my password. Don't just do it with a phone because you can lose your phone. And whatever you do, when you do the backup, write it down somewhere, put it in a safe, a lockbox, whatever you got. It's good to keep it online, but your kid comes through, kicks it over, something falls on it, and you lose all that info. Write it somewhere else. This grace period is 72 hours for people that have an email, but they don't have access. You're going to go in. You're going to say, here's my new email. So you go in with the email you have, because there won't be a code sent to you for 72 hours. You go in. You put the email in that you had. When you get in there, you go to support. You'll see something at support that says something about creating another email. You'll put the new email in there. They will send the code to that email, the one you have access to. Then now you're set. You're ready to go. Now, keep in mind, if you got an ugly email, oh, I don't like this one. I'm gonna get, that's not what this is for. You're not there just to clean up. Oh, I don't like this email. I don't like, no. This is for emergency for people that cannot access their passwords. They can't log into their email. That's what this is for. So keep that in mind that this is very important that when you're ready to do it, and if you're not sure how to make a Gmail account, like I just said, uh, there'll be diagrams. People are going to explain it to you, share a screen, whatever. It's easy to do. Once you do it, write it all down. Then you'll say, okay, this is my new password. This is my new email. You go in, you put it in, and they'll send a code to your new password, your new email. You say, okay, I got it. There'll be six or seven, whatever it is, six digits. You put it in, you log in, boom, you're, set, you're ready for the races. Now you're good to go. Don't lose it. Don't. And have a backup email. When you make a new email, it always asks you for an alternative email. Make sure you put one in. Don't just do a telephone number. It's, um, trust me, I have, I have 75 Gmail accounts, okay? And all of them are linked to somewhere else. So just do that to, to save yourself some time. And then I also want to bring up some people, emails don't work at all. Whatever the reason, they want to change an email. That's really difficult to do. If you want to change an email, you have to have a good reason why. That's a totally separate subject. I believe Julie's going to go over that. Right, Julie? Nod your head. Yeah, you are. Are you? Okay. Am I making you do it? No. Okay. But anyway, but there's a form you should fill out. It says the date, what your name is, the current email, the email you want to go to, and why you want to do it. These are two separate things. Don't get confused. It's not the end of the world. But ask once to move to the next step. The next step is fun step, okay? We want to get to the point where we're doing stuff that start bringing apples in. And if we don't get past this point, we can't. So he wanted to do this window of help people get who don't have access to their email to get a new email. And the ones that their email is not working for whatever reason or somebody passed away, whatever the reason is, you have to have a good reason. Fill out a chart, we'll put that in and you can have we can switch emails on an emergency situation only. I hope I covered everything the best I could. So that's all I got for right now. And if there's any questions, then I can answer them, I will. Hey, Marty. And it's also just, they're not going to, you cannot change your email if you just want to change your email. Period. No, that's right. Because you it don't like the a, name of it. Yeah. That, it has like, to be a like, very, very good reason. Yes. Exactly. To be able to change it. Um, you want to get you want to go over a couple of questions on your part here real quick would that be the way to do it anybody have a William is it a question for Marty William Delarm I do have a question for Marty okay go ahead uh, Marty I have a sponsor from the church ha happy. Now she uh, knows her email, 
and a password, but she can't log into password. Uh, she can't log into her email. Guess she says she lost it. Maybe if uh, mm -hmm. I was going to ask her tomorrow night if she could, uh, like, uh, forgot password, maybe she can go that way. But maybe she won't be able to. I don't know until she tries it. Uh, I'll get her to uh, do a Gmail address. And how do I go about doing this? Do I send it to you or? <clears throat> I, I don't understand that part. If, if she lost her password, tell her to when she goes to put in her email and gets to the point where it says, add your password, it says, did you forget your password? She say yes. If she puts yes, it'll say, this is your alternative email. Do you want us to send the code there? And she's going to go yes. And then she can get back into her account. Yeah, because that, that's where her old founders is. And then I can go to uh, send her a code through uh, a new tab with uh, www.ofounders.net. Why? I can get her to put in the information there and send her a code. I, I, otherwise, uh, I don't know what will happen tomorrow night, but uh, I will get back to you. Thank you. Wayne. Okay, that's a good idea. Get back to me when you I'm see if she can get her, see if she can get her email or password from her Hello? alternative email. I'll do that, Marty. Thank you. All right, Lori Lunn. Hey, Marty. Um, I have an issue that may arise in the future. I have an email that I, before on Passive, I got into on Passive, I had changed the, my phone number and got a different telephone. And I couldn't not access to my phone number to try to change the <clears throat> anyways but all of my other emails everything's working fine but um, as a backup email deal is where I have a problem on the one because of that phone number change and I remember you saying something about if you've changed a phone number then it's very impossible I mean I still access I've had that email for eight years do you have the do you have the password to it now? I mean, you could get into the, the the email account right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I've then, never had a problem with it. Okay, then just make sure you write it down and put it in a safe or keep it somewhere. Your only problem is you don't have a backup. Like if if you lose that email, you can't call that number to get the code because your phone's gone. Right. Yeah. Now, I also went and I connected, I have everything, all the other emails that I made, I connected to the one email that's connected to the, the one that I probably should be careful with. I was going to change the backup email for that main one there and, and grab one of the other ones there and make a backup email for that one and not be connected to the whole my that one there just leave it singular and yeah, just you could do that do that if you could do that do that that way i've got all everything That's on right. the other ones That's but right. i didn't know if i should you know i didn't want to have to make up a password and i'm just like oh no i'm in a quagmire <laughs> no 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 as long as you have control of it you can do what you want just after you do it make a backup so you know i had it for eight years no yeah, problem okay. it just floods in with emails i got one from eBay yeah. or whatever, and um, okay, then I'm safe. So I, okay, <laughs> that's Good it. Deal. Thank you, Arlen. I think. Hey, um, Marty, yeah. I got a kid that I, I paid his way in, his name Joey, and uh, he said he lost his phone. I said, what's that mean? He said, I'll, I'll have my email I can't log into my email. I got my email credentials and he can't log into his on passive back office because his 
password was a Google generated password that he didn't write down. And so when he lost his phone, he lost everything. His, his, <laughs> he can't even log into his back office or nothing. So I don't know if that's going to be okay to. <laughs> well, that, that's, <laughs> item num that's, that's item number two. That's if you can't get, you can't get into your email at all. That's, right. uh, he has to change the email. Yeah. Uh, the I paid for, I paid for the account. So I have a bank statement that has his, uh, purchase. Link. That's all. That's all I got. No, but I mean, if you look in your downline, he's there, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's your proof that he's there. His email's there too. Yeah. But the only, his backup wasn't a, alternative email it was actually a telephone number yeah he he said when he lost his phone he said all the info info was on his phone everything was he had no password for nothing or nothing yeah okay well that's the case the second part of this is if he has to change his email he needs to say current email new email and the reason why, and it's got to be a good reason, then the company will decide if they'll change it or not. Okay. Martin, there's, there's, also, there's, also, there's also a button that says, do not have access to phone. So it gives you an alternative way to do it through an email or some other way. Marty, isn't there, if-, if uh, Lynn if and he... Ron and Marty, could I step in? Sure. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to share the screen really quick because this is what we're talking about. And um, I made this form up, okay? Let me do this, the first part. If you could, if you are helping someone, right? If you could please take the screenshot of, let me open this up a little bit, right? Could you please take the screenshot of this? I posted this in the leadership council, just giving, um, us all a little, you know, tips based on what all the founders, all the leaders are giving. And um, we did this, okay? So we, we, we put together a list of things that we recommend that you do before you even email the leader and um, anyone for help. So I'd like you to take a screenshot of it. And if you could please go through all of this before you send an email to anyone or a message to anyone. And the reason why I say this is because we all are founders of Unpassive. We all can help, you know, putting in the effort to help moving this forward. Okay, so this is one of them, right? Let's come up to the email part of it. Move this up so that we have it all in one screen. Okay, the second part of it is that it's very important for us to secure the email that we created, right? What Marty has said is absolutely correct. You can't just imagine an email, and I say this to, you know, to everyone that's, that have done that. It's not that we can just imagine an email and make that as an our email. So if you are sending an email request to the leader, please follow this form, okay? I do need you to have all these questions answered as well. Have you created the email? Put a yes to it. Have you done this? Yes to it. And it's not just to me. If you are already planning to send an email request to someone, to a leader, it could be anyone, any leadership council, and they know exactly where to forward to. If you were to send it to me, I would like to have um, you to please put it this way, and also, one thing that I miss, if you are sending it to me, because if you are sending it to the leadership council, the leadership council know that they have to show the proof of owning the account. Ah. Sorry, Lynn and Ron, I had to do this because I think it's needed, right? So let me move this up really quick. Right, we need to have proof of owning that account. So proof of owning the account, it's either the screenshot of what you paid um, or you go to the sponsor and the sponsor 
the sponsor took the screenshot of your email showing as one of the team member. That could be another proof. Or if you don't remember your sponsor, you could go to the person that you invite and have them take the screenshot of the profile, which show that you are their sponsor. So that would be the three um, proof of payment. So if you could please take the screenshot of this, every email come or sent to the leader, if you could put exactly just that and the information that request. And then in the subject line, if you could say email request, right? So it doesn't get lost into, onto things. As you could imagine, the leaders are receiving hundreds of email per day asking for something. And some people are sending us essay of information. So we don't need any of that, just need B. So this is the form. So if you um, could please take a screenshot of it to save or to send it to your team member as well. Thank you, Lynn and Ron. Thank you, Julie. We appreciate you sharing that. Uh, it explains it. So, uh, okay, Gustavo. Come yes, on how you doing everybody? Bye. Thank you very much, Marty. I have a question. So the people that uh, who has not problems with their emails, they don't have to do nothing. But as I understood, you suggest sometimes before that the best thing is to clean the history and cookies and will not go to be any problem to the future. That's correct. I have no, I'm not sure what he just said. Well, the thing Say is, again, if, yes, if the people who has no problem with their emails, what you suggest on, and to you suggest to them is to also, in any case, without problems, also it's good to take this step to clean the cookies and the history to have in order, or oh, what about email? The email? If somebody doesn't have their password, it doesn't matter. I mean, I mean that all works good. No, I, I mean is that all works good in their emails, but the best, best things as I understood is that always before these steps to be done is to clean the cookies and the history only just to be sure that all works better who people who ha who has no problems with their emails. That's, that well, a, that's a yes. You should always. Only for Hello the people everyone, this is Kajal Rajput and you are made with Dindus News. Ke it's always good, Gustavo, to clean your history, your browser history, on, on anything you're going to do. And what they were talking about, that part of it was for people who had the wrinkles that couldn't get into their, uh, their back, like they couldn't get an OTP. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. That's that's when they were telling them to go in and clear their, their cache and their history and their browser and all that stuff. But it's always good to do that in a defrag, you know, once a week or once every couple of weeks. Yeah, because it'll keep your computer running smooth. And uh, but that's what that was. That was for the OTP problem. If I understood in an uh, in an uh, message uh, with the leaders council is that everybody have access right now with the email or no. not? Okay. Not everyone yet. Ah, okay, perfect, because not I tried and I, I couldn't. Okay, perfect, well, we thank will. you. We will, very Thank sure. you very much, thank yeah. you very much. Okay, thank you, Gustavo. Sorry to interrupt, Marty. Um, okay. Is that correct, Marty? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just think we're mixing a couple of things together. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are. Ron, Ron, Mar I apologize. Marty, did you finish up with Ty's question about the lost phone? Did you completely answer that for Ty? Well, uh, what I'm telling everybody is if you don't have access, if you don't, if you cannot get into your email, right, because you did hook it to a phone and the phone got thrown in the trash or you lost it or whatever, you don't have a backup email. This is a grace period for 72 hours. You can go in put in a new email that you created, a real a real email by going and creating an email and on Monday through Wednesday, and then they're gonna send you a code to your new email, 
Now you're good to go. Now, the other case is something else with Julie Ball. If you don't have, if you're, if you don't, there's two different things here and it's getting confusing. But anyway, if you, if you have an email, but you can't get to your back, you can't get to it, you can't get the code that's set, then you need to replace it. Do that on Monday through Wednesday and they'll send you a new code. But make sure you have a legit email. That's the main thing. Good deal. That sounds good. Okay, uh, I got. He can't even. He can't even log into his back office because his password is the same password as his email. Okay, yours is a different story. Yours is you got to send out, fill out that form, name, current email, email he wants to go to, and the reason why. Because that person is totally has nothing. That's where we have to change the actual email. Shorty. That's two different stories. Yeah. I know it sounds confusing, but it's really not. If you can't do any of it, then he needs to change his email. The other one is the email is good. He just can't get to it. He has to change the email in the back office. And ads is going to set up a way where you can go there, switch your email, put in your new one. As soon as you put the new one in, they're going to send a code to your new email. Now that email becomes your email. Make sure you set up a back, uh, a follow up email with that email. Marty, can I chime in? Yeah. Ty, I just sent you a direct message. Gmail is on the Google platform. If I throw this phone in the Atlantic Ocean and I, for some reason, hit my head and I can't remember any of my passwords, I can go to the local library, I can go to google.com, I can click on Gmail and I can go to recover my email, recover, select, try another way. I can send it to a new phone, I can send it to another email address. They're gonna send you a recovery link. Gmail is public. I mean, you can go to any computer anywhere. He doesn't have to have his phone that he signed up with Gmail on to access his Gmail. He can access if, if, his if, Gmail on your computer. Yeah, but if you do not know the password key, you cannot get it. You cannot get it. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I mean, I know people that tried it over and over again. You can't get it. They lock it like a, like a Fort Knox. I've never had this issue because I write all my passwords. You can't reset yeah, the yeah, password, know, Marty? Huh? You can't reset the password if you, you have the email? You, you can reset it if you have, if you can get in to do it. Ty, did he, is it his email or did you set up the email? No, he's, I, I sent is him. Is it his personal on, email? I sent him money on PayPal to pay for the account. Then he, and I got charged to my card, right? Right. Now, now he took the money and, and, and made an email and everything for his account. Right. And paid for his own account and signed his own NDA and everything. Hey. But Can he said he lost that? his phone because he generated the password for that and the password for his <laughs> office. With I'm sorry. Hang on Google a second. Or Google, whatever, on his phone. And he, it made a, a password for him, so it's like a bunch of numbers and letters and stuff. He didn't write oh, down. Hey, Ty, it's real simple, though. Uh, you have his email, okay? So you yeah. have his email because you're his sponsor. So right. that's a that's a perfect example of what he just needs to change the email with, within that 72-hour time frame. Change the email, get a new email, and he'll have a new password. Make sure he get, writes the password down. And that's all you need to do because you have the email that he originally signed up with for the account. Right. So we just have to get him a new email and a new password. That's all there is to it. Exactly right. He has to sign in with the original email, but he doesn't have to worry about getting the code because he, the codes are going to be shut off. When he gets in there, put in the new email that he created and hopefully kept the password and hopefully 
uh, set up a, a, a secondary email to hold this password, he's good to go. But this is the only time, the 72 hours from Monday. Hey, Marty. Yeah. Hey, this is Jeffrey. Hey, Ty. Yeah. Do, do exactly what these folks are saying. Get, get your friend with a new email. Once you get that new email set up, make sure it's a good, a good Gmail. Gmail is fantastic. Have him go in there, go into settings. Once he goes into settings, have him view all settings and then go into uh, accounts and import. Yeah. You can set up not only a phone number, but also a recovery email. You can set them both up. So if he ever loses his phone again, he can go to that email. But that is extremely important. And, and you can see that now how this could flesh out into something really ugly. So kudos to Mr. Mufara for having his team take time to sort this stuff out. Yeah, well, I thought, well, I thought he lost his account and that was his own dumb stupidity. So I thought that's your problem. That's what I thought. Hi, is that the issues you sent through my messenger? Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's the example, right? Ty sent an, um, 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 an issues or a message to me, and this is not, uh, not on you, Ty, it's for everyone, right? And then he gone on here, he asked, addressing the questions. If I'm not in this meeting, I would not know whether or not we addressed it here. And so my suggestion to everyone, if you are asking a question to any leaders, please stay with that leader. Make sure you follow up with that leader, right? If, he's, if you send it to Marty, Marty has a lot of things that he's on his book that he's helping other. Please stay with Marty. Or you just say, all right, thank you so much for helping. It's done or it's complete. And then you move on. Otherwise, please do not send any issues that you have to five five other leaders right because five of us will jump on there and help you and it's going to waste for uh, others people's time so if you would please do it for one with one person first and make sure that resolve and that one person will know exactly to reach who to reach out if that person needs right and give them time that that's all thank you ty that means that you know what to do i'm not responding to your message right perfect all right. Thank, yep. you. thank you hey, can, can i throw one more thing in here uh, guys uh you know the the message i got from ash today was the fact that we have one responsibility he's doing everything and building this massive company we have one responsibility and that's to get our unique password our, our unique email and our unique password and keep it and be able to log in. Now, that being said, there were 7,600 people on that meeting today. How many people do you think didn't get that message and aren't gonna get that message? And so it's up to us, it's up to each of us that really understand this, they really understand the message that Ash was saying today and get that out to your teams. Make sure they understand it. Make sure they get it to their teams and have it snowball through the organization because you've got a million people and you got 7,600 people that were on the call today. There aren't right. gonna be, there are gonna be a lot of people that don't have a clue, but then there's a lot of people that, that probably aren't gonna log into their account anyway, who knows? We don't know what that number is, but get out and make sure your team gets activated. That's the key. Make sure they can get into their accounts. Pass, pass the word on, that's my message. That's what I heard loud and clear from Ash today. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very much. Okay, Viviana. Hello. Come on Hello. down. <laughs> well, my suggestion to you, Ty, because I have a few in my group that, you know, um, I'm, I'm having some challenges with. When, when he creates his Gmail, he can, if he doesn't have a secondary recovery Gmail, he could use yours, right? or he could use your phone number. Um, I, I have a situation, I've mentioned this before, that even though I have a recovery Gmail, and one of, one, this is with one of my founders, I had the recovery Gmail and I had the recovery phone number, but he changed his phone number. So I can't get into his Gmail. 
So um, one founder suggested for me to call that number and ask them if I could get the code so I can change the phone number to the new phone number, which is, which is a great idea. I'm gonna be doing that, but um, yeah, it, it's, it can, if they don't keep a track of their Gmails, it's kind of hard. It's kind of, it's, it's, uh, it can, it can be challenging because not a lot of people are going to be paying attention <laughs> is what I say. But um, the other thing I wanted to ask Marty or anybody that can answer this question, um, I have additional, um, I, I have additional positions that in the future, I would like to transfer those positions to somebody else. Yeah, at that point, can we change whatever Gmail I created for that account? Can I, if they want a new, if they want it in their, um, if they want a Gmail and create a Gmail for themselves, is that possible? Can I step in, guys? Hi, Viviana. Hi, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Um, I believe this is the last chance uh, Mr. Ash has given us to change emails. What I suggest to do if you have additional accounts and you want to mm -hmm. give them to somebody else in the future yeah. is to give them with the email access. So you give them everything, the, the O founders uh, account and mm -hmm. the email that belongs to that account. Uh, since this additional email that you have is not your personal main email, I would give them everything to them with the email. So they have access to completely the whole con you know, control of everything. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking that's a no. <laughs> Yes, I know. <laughs> if, if, if they want to change the email to something yeah. that they they wish to have, they're not going to be able to do that. Yeah. I mean, Ash is very generous to do that for three days, to be honest okay. with you. And um, he said this is guaranteed that's not going to happen in the future and on passive. So okay. um, I, my, my guess, and any of the leaders can correct me here, in some extreme cases, you know, things always comes up uh some things will change maybe but mm -hmm. you know it's going to be money involved in this so right. that'll be really hard to to do that because you know there's some people were trying to uh, do shady stuff you mm -hmm. know the, the safest bet is like peter said to say no but who knows what will happen in the future there'll be face right. recognition there'll be somebody passes away they take there'll be extreme reasons yeah but the safest bet so you can pass along is absolutely not. So if it happens, you know, I mean, always there's some kind of something that comes up that we, you might have to do it. But in general, no, because like uh, Peter said, we're talking about people that are going to have a lot of apples and you want to, that's one of the biggest, that's the biggest protection for you, really. Right. Also, I want to add uh, something real quick uh, for everybody to spread around. I just put all the notes, the summaries from Mr. Ash's uh, talk today in a back office. So please spread the word around. And uh, like Dan says, you know, we, we, every one of us, not just the leaders, every one of us need to spread the word about the three days, the 72 hours period. This is very critical. This is a one-time deal. So yes, please spread the word, every one of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Vivian, did that cover your question? Yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, great, great. Listen, folks. Peter, um, but is this quite difficult that somebody? Okay, oh, hold on. May I have an appoint here? I don't know what he's talking to. Anyways. There's three people, more people with their hand raised and we need to move on to uh, our next section. So um, please, if if it's about the email and there's something that has not been talked about on this webinar or the other one, or it's a wrinkle on your own, okay, let's, let's make it get to the point and let's get an answer so we can move along, okay? Because uh, we want to, uh, we have a schedule that uh, we're trying our best to abide by to, so this doesn't go on for four or five hours. So, uh, Mike, did you have something new? Yeah, um, 
Ron, thank you everybody. Thank you the leaders. I've been down with the weather. The weather had to put me down for, I've been down for like six days today, but thank God I'm getting better. I just want to thank um, the leaders for all what you guys have been doing. I want to shout out to Maddie. So Maddie, the wrinkles, seven gone, just two remaining. So that was a good job you did, you and Chris for me. I just want to thank you people. Thank you very much, Maddie. Thanks, Mike. Um, Kay Mohan from India. Kay Mohan Rayo, yeah, from India. All right, Key, did you have something real quick? This Key Wendell. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Um, while I got Jeffrey here um, in, with all of you, Jeffrey sent out a, um, a message to Leadership Council. And I met with Jeffrey yesterday um, with regards to if you have anybody in your team or anybody that you feel worthy to recognize, um, we're in the process of putting some shirts and some hats together and sending, sending those out. Um, I sent a nice little care package off to Robin today. Um, and those are kind of international paperwork. You got to sign it. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, um, if you have somebody, let Jeffrey or I know, if you will. And um, we're getting this stuff boxed up and thank you. And, and, and just, uh, just, I'm, I'm pretty much out of hats. So if you wanted that, your um, SOL, unless I put in another order. Um, but anyway, I want to appreciate Jeffrey for, for, for that effort. And thank you. And, and thank everybody for what you're doing. Thanks, Keith. We appreciate it. Okay. Well, we're going to move on now. And we have a hand up from a guy named uh, Mr. Ash McFarra, USA. Come on down. I have one question. I have one answer. How are you doing this evening? Great. How about you? Fantastic. I'm fired up. Hey. You guys slow me down. Yeah. So it's supposed to be when they say, How are you? You go on passive. On passive. Oh, I love that. There you go. See, I'm not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I see that uh, we are still talking about that uh, login. Uh, I uh, honestly, after what Peter said, like this is the last uh, chance, if we don't um, manage an email login, I don't think that would be a founder fit. I don't know how did they log in? How did they open an account? I'll be happy to uh, return the $97 to them and whatever they used us for, it's on us, no problem. Uh, I don't think we want to have uh, that burden, uh, you know, or responsibility of somebody need so much help in access and their email address. And then we say those are on, on passive founders. Uh, they're, they're welcome to attend some free classes in Academy and learn how to open an email account and how to log in and for free and watch videos and uh, come as a customer or just a guest. But uh, founders quality and founders uh, materials, as we say, uh, we cannot go further than the three days uh, grace. We have been working and you know trying to do that. What damage it does, it makes us look like we can't put this uh, together they're not going to say I'm not good enough to know how to manage my account I cannot log in they're going to say I don't have access they're given uh, pre negative information against the company as an excuse when the reality is we have above average uh, platform that is the humblest statement uh, and we've invested a ton in every way in it. And uh, 
if they can't access their email, they cannot access the account. If they don't know uh, their password and, and all of that, and they need uh, hand-holding with that, uh, we need to move on. We need to move on. We cannot camp here. We have to move on. So that, I think the message is clear. Now, if somebody's having a problem to log in and they're going to miss this session and they missed out which we sent an invitation to over a million people uh, and they're gonna miss out on the updates in the back office. And I'm sure a few of the founders will do a live stream and they will do uh, more webinars. And Julie said they're gonna have a webinar at 2 p.m. tomorrow. And there's gonna be one in the morning. All of that volunteer assistance We're not gonna chase them. We can lead a horse to the will to drink, but we can never, 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 never force them to drink. So this is as far as we can go. Come in next week, by this time, we're done with the babysitting. I wouldn't, run out of uh, tolerance if it was a complicated case. If you have to solve a code or a mystery or something, it's for God's sake, put an email, OTP, you're done. What chances somebody would be able to create a, an account with a passive a domain name, set up a wallet, a KYC, all of that? What chances? So I would wish to move on from this topic. If we have another topic, we can talk about it. If not, we can just dance. <laughs> I agree, Mr. Ash. Thank you very much. Hang out with us because we're going we're gonna to move along. Sorry. Uh, All right, let's do that. Uh, we have a uh, Kathy Lee Freeman. Are you, there you are. Kathy has something that she wants to share with us. So we're going to bring Kathy on to go ahead and do her part here. Well, that's if Ash wants to hear it because it's about Gmail. And I think the main problem that I discovered with helping uh, I remote into some of my people's um, computers uh, to help them because they're so IT fearful or uh, ignorant or whatever, and you know, un un uneducated, um, which brings fear. So what I found was that people are setting up their Gmail in Chrome and it looks like it's okay, but it doesn't work. So we go back in, I teach them how to go back into Gmail and how to set up their email in Gmail and then everything. And, and, but there are several steps and if they don't get it right, it doesn't work. But if they get it right, it's perfect. And it works in like three seconds, you can sign somebody up. I can show my screen if you want and show what I'm talking about, but. I, pretty much, I think I, I pretty much understand what you're talking about, Kathy. Well, you do, but a lot of a lot of women don't, and older yeah. folks, and that's what I've been spending my time with is helping, you know, helping those people remote. Yeah, you know. yeah. I think for and, today, uh, I think we beat this email thing pretty hard. So right. let's uh, maybe, we can, maybe we can do a uh, a class or something, a separate well, thing. Well, come to Seaside Chat on Sunday. Anyone who has questions, we'll answer them there. All right, sounds good. All right, uh, Lynn. You want to take over here? Well, we have uh, some people asking questions, but I think we wanted to go over. Um, let me give the floor to Julie now because we had planned to have her discuss O Network and the concerns that Ash Mafara has about the quality of the posts in O Network, which I think is a, a very important topic. So let's give the floor to Julie right now. Thank you, Lynn. Um, thank you, Lynn. Before I even say it about O Network, um, I'd like to ask some questions really quick. If everyone who listened to this message asks yourself, are you a founder of a company as big as on passive? If your question is yes, that means that you are the leader. That means that you are putting effort in helping building with on passive. 
what that means is that you provide, you are giving everyone here, the company, the, some value, right? Some type of value that you are sharing. So it is very important. We have something called own network, which is a community. In the community, to me, I believe that if you are in a community, you want to give the value to the community. And that's what own network is all about. So Mr. Ashmafar has said several times about the message you are putting down. And many leaders here also stated that. And in the Julian Milo show, many, many times we have communicated the fact that we want to put something out that has some type of value. So before you are posting something on our own network, ask yourself, is this valuable for my community? When we talk about valuable, does it ask, does it change people's life? Does it give people an inspiration for the day? Does it help? You know, or you could actually use own network to share something about you. Let the community know who you are. Who you are isn't just a picture of you. Who you are is where you're coming from, what you do, you know, just letting the community. So I believe that own network is where we can share what is valuable for our entire company. So it is very important if you could, and many of us are doing, you know, TikTok, YouTube, you could actually use O Network to post in your message on there as well. And I believe if every single one of us do that, we will enrich our own network platform. We will give a lot of value and treat that as a, uh, a best friend, right? Where we go in there and we look for inspirations. We look for prayers. We look for positive inspirations every day, encouragement every day. So I believe all of us could do that. And one thing I like to say too, is that when you go to own network and you see one message, of one founders, and then you see 10 or 20 messages, the same thing. So Mr. Ash, since you are here, um, I'd like to see if we could and remove the button share for now, maybe, um, to see if that it's, and because I, I see that a lot of us are sharing, sharing the same message 10 times. Let me, let and me I add, don't know if that's- Let, let me add something first. We could Thanks. keep we could keep eliminating stuff and guiding stuff and putting bumpers up and listen, everybody here's an adult. If you're sharing something, keep in your mind, here's what you want to say to yourself. Does this add value to anyone else? If not, keep it to yourself. Right? I don't need to see 50 more guys with sunglasses posing for GQ magazine. I mean, I don't even know what that is. Just if you have something that adds value to everyone else, or at least one other person, put it in. But hello, 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 hello. We sound like parrots. Parrots are mocking you. They don't know what they're saying. Go in there. If you can add value to somebody, anybody, everybody, do it. If you Before you write, say, who is this helping? And if you say, dang, it's not helping anybody shut down and go fishing. Go do something else. It doesn't make sense because some people are posting in there that are very good for other people. They want to hear it. And you've got to sit through a, a three miles of cow manure to find a diamond in the middle of this turd. And it's not necessary when just keep in your mind what I'm posting does it add value to somebody. And if it does, sure enough, do it. Do it 10 times a day. But I just think if we just, we got to stop saying, well, we got to do this to protect, we got to do that. No, we got to use common sense. We all have a business. You would not pull up to a franchise like McDonald's if you owned it, say, oh, shit, I forgot the keys, right? No, you, you wouldn't forget the keys. It's your, it's your business. You would be it. You'd be ready. You wouldn't run out of gas. You'd have a hamburger to be there. This is even easier. You just need to be able to open the door. Open the door and you win. We can't even get in the building. And you were given a free key. I mean, come on, we got to start thinking and we got to pass that down. 
Because if you nurse people, you're going to nurse them until they're 90 years old. That's crazy. And there's a lot of people having no problem at all. It's only a handful. It's a dot that are having the problems. Help them, get it, make them, help them understand and we should move on. This is crazy. Don't say, oh, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere now because of real small items that really we shouldn't be talking about. Sorry to get loud, but I just want people, I, I mean, we're so close to making things happen. Let's go for it. Let's freaking walk. All we got to do is go forward. We keep going back. One, one step forward, two steps back. One step forward, two steps back. It's crazy. It is too, too uh, Marty. It is really, really crazy for the fact that people just sent me an email. Hi. It, it gives, I mean, I have like emails after email to say hi, right? So Marty, thank you so much for bringing that up. My goal is to every day post. If I don't have anything to say, I go on internet and look for a powerful quote of the people that went before me and put a quote on there. That's my goal every single day. And if you can't do that, and if we can't do that together, I'm not sure what to say, right? I believe that we can move this to a faster track. If we all, all of our leaders here, all of us are leaders, right? If could just do that, reach out to the next person. How are you doing? Are you able to log in? Can you do this? Can you, you know, if all of us do that one person a day, I believe we all can help the whole entire community moving forward. We don't need to bring topics and questions up here and we all have to really do it together. I don't think we need that, but I think each of and every one of us, one person at a time, help, help, help. That's, that's, that's all I have to say. And yes, O Network is a very, very powerful community. And I'm looking so forward to see many positive message inspirations. I mean, things like that or getting to know founders. So if you want to use O Network to let other people know about you also. Julie, and, can I add something too? Yes, please. Um, before you write anything, like Marty says, think of the reader, okay? Are you adding any value to the reader? When he read your message, are you adding any value? If you don't, then you don't need to put it in there. Uh, also, like Mr. Ash mentioned today in the webinar, uh, let's try to, if you are writing in different language other than English, try to uh, write in your community based on the language. There is all kinds of flags in there and you can do it accordingly. So we don't have to scroll through uh, so many languages just to find something that we can understand if let's say English is your language or French or Arabic or whatever, just uh, something to reconfirm what Mr. Ash talked about today. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. You know, if I could say something real quick, Ash, before you show this, uh, it, it kind of really, you know, you think about what's going on. We've spent several hours today on this, on two issues, okay? And, it, and from the same people, keep asking the same question. And when you do that, like Ash has said before, they have to address it. They have to research it. They have to fix it or try to fix it or find out what's going on. And then that same person has the gall to turn around and say, well, when are we going to launch? Okay. Well, guess what? Until all these things are fixed, we can't. So think about that. Okay. Before you send a high message to Julie or, or, or whatever, think about what she is doing for us in on passive and Marty, okay? We need to take responsibility. We're all adults, okay? And I agree with Ash about the babysitting. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't have patience for that. So Ash, go ahead. That's all I wanted to say right now. Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm with you. I'm just trying to uh, help as much as I can when it comes to understanding uh, exactly. value. Uh, right. So what value is, is, um, is it worth my time? And I'm not saying as, as myself, like, is it worth your time or somebody's time? When they read it, what is the uh, objective from that? So run that for a second in your mind by one 
person reading that, what impact will happen in their day, moment, or life? You don't have to completely change their life radically, but at least would it make any addition? Um, if it's a uh, inspiration, if it's uh, motivational, if it's a um, business lesson, if it's uh, some, uh, you know, this, this new discovery about uh, one tool or one uh, feature in one of the products, some recommendation, uh, announcing events, inviting for local events or uh, virtual, this is useful, but as I go over that, I, I'm, you know, kind of hesitating to uh, show the screen and go over them. I can go the first page, for example, at any given moment, and I see no value. Good morning, O founders. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Love on passive. Love you back, buddy. Okay, and. Uh, good morning and a sticky image and you know and hindi in the first language top of the page good morning with a picture all right so far nothing impacted my attitude or life except it's draining my energy and time and patience so now i'm thinking i should find something more useful if i'm just a visitor okay so you want to think in that line uh, and uh, if you feel by others reading your post, uh, they will walk away with a hint of something. Why not? Okay, a statement, something you thought about. Uh, not too details because this is a, an open discussion. Uh, please spell on passive or uh, Type it as all in caps. I still see many of you don't know the business name. Um, I don't understand. I see a repost and a share for a good morning. Double good morning. Yay. So I've been scrolling. I don't see anything that I really want to give it a second. Okay. Now I can remove sharing, but if my audience is not um, listening, that will be destructive because we, uh, we want to create more features. We want to add more uh, uh, tools to, to our platforms rather than taking away. Uh, like seriously, how many times we have to say share if it's really necessary. So can you imagine replicating something already unnecessary in the first place and, and you do that? Religious posters. Listen, uh, we're believers and we respect every religion, but this is not the place. Uh, not disrespectfully, you would do better off in a different uh, platform and you know where it would be relevant because we are a good collection and we don't want to you know get into that that's something irrelevant to our business not undermining or disrespecting so it'll be useful for somebody to come and listen to the webinars instead of just typing random stuff uh, or, or posting again and and when you click i don't believe somebody should click post and take a walk or go fishing as uh, my brother would say. Uh, so when you click, obviously you wanna see how did your post come out? If you see five of them, that means you've clicked too many times. So go on those three dots below the, the post and delete them. And uh, can, can uh, you, uh, any, any Indian founder now available? Because yes, I'm sir. talking about on the panels. Can you type in Hindi, please go to the Indian section for Hindi. And I want to repost that, but not right away. Like in the community and the uh, O-Network section, say in Hindi, 
this is an English universal group. If, if you want to ty type Hindi, go to the other place. Okay. Uh, that would be useful if you could do that favor, please. Okay, sir. So yeah. what I have to write, like uh, this is an English platform where people from every country is here and you please don't write in Hindi, just use English rather than using Hindi here on this platform. Thank you. No, like that. use the Hindi. There's a group at the top. Okay, okay. I'm going to share my screen one more time. Um, one second. Seven. Just a second. Let me see. Okay. So I'm going to do something live with you. So. May I ask the question while you are looking for that? I'm Hi. sorry, who's this? Yeah, can you? Hi, my name I'm is... listening, I'm not seeing, yeah. So can we remove the write privileges of those spammers and leave their read privileges on so they can read what's going on in, in, the old, net, in old network? So I'm gonna, yeah, I mean, Again, we're not moving forward. We need to create things in advance. Just people need to take responsibility, period. Your screen went off. Are you all right? I was getting ready to say, I feel like I'm sitting in a library. <laughs> We're monitor monitoring exam. Everybody's heads down. And are y'all taking an exam or what? Um, <laughs> I think we should left. have our artificial intelligence sona uh, go ahead and get people out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> when they write the wrong thing, she can right. tell them, you know. <laughs> Stand by here. Ash, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. I was okay. uh, pulling. I didn't say, uh, okay, uh, on, on other devices, probably uh, I'll have it ready. Uh, okay. I don't want to spend more time on this, uh, but uh, there's a background. Okay, but uh, follow my. Uh, Navigation, okay. Um, okay. Let me go back. 
I was sharing my screen. Did you uh, get to see that? When you first started, yes. Okay. All right, perfect. So this is what we're gonna do. This is my screen. All right, we're gonna go to a live account right now. You see it? Yes, sir. Fantastic, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna put all of your attention on, the, on this here, okay. So I hope you're seeing from a, a big device and uh, this one, obviously all, if you hover on it, it will tell you, you see that? It's a globe. So this is every country, it's the whole planet. And the default is English, all right? Okay. If I go here, it's English, okay? Just per se, uh, you know, just, just in English restricted in a way. Uh, I think we should remove that and just keep keep this. Uh, so this is Chinese. I'm going to go here all the way to Hindi. Okay. Okay. Why is English here? And right here. Okay. And regardless of the content, but I'm just going to show you. So if you want to type Hindi, this is, you are welcome to do that here, okay? okay? You're welcome to do the other languages here. And of course, if there is a language that is not listed, we'll add it, this is called a group, all right? But the main one for everybody is a, de a default universal, okay? Uh, we uh, wanna stick with English, okay? That's a default language. I'm not sure what is this, okay? Yeah, it's a golden goose, whatever, chicken. But I mean, okay, right? And nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Uh, what about this? What does it mean? Good morning. Uh, what do I benefit? Ask yourself, what do you benefit from that? What do you benefit from reading this? nice but not the platform we didn't create this so we can stuff it with unnecessary stuff good morning and this is now how you spell founders by the way and and people come here they don't speak hindi they don't speak hindi okay, okay. and when you make a post this is when i make a post Obviously, you see this bubble will follow you anywhere. So I can go on and on. Did you realize how much did I scroll? And nothing I can say inspiring. Very, 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 very. Yes. There you go. There you go. Okay. This is more relevant. Okay. But it's everywhere. So it's not even a clean image. Um, I'm not sure what does it say. And if it's a religious thing, not the place it's a, religious, it's a religious thing only they're saying that not against that we respect it but not here so okay so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna type here you see and i make a mess and all i do is post right title no title i'm not gonna spend time on it so i'm gonna post right what happened is it will come instantly. I don't have a fast connection here. It comes instantly where? Right here. You follow me? And if I have three at the top of the same one as this here, I can come here and see these dots. I can edit it, I can delete. Obviously it's a test, so I'm just gonna delete it. So if you see that you have five, Okay, and if you already posted something that, oh, nice. You know, this could be improper for some founders. Now we have the ability to delete them, but if it gets like insane like this, we're not gonna delete the post, we're gonna delete the founder permanently. And it's repeated. 
And what is this? Good morning. So uh, there's, you know, obviously it's mostly from India. Um, the repetition is coming from there. All I want to say is it's, um, it's unnecessary. It's unproductive for us. What does this image mean from the same person here back and forth? And maybe we want to see your toes next time. Okay, so, uh, and this is again Hindi. It's insane. Uh, so I think you get my point. It's all uh, a waste of our time, a waste of our work and resources. It has given me the idea one more time. I've had the idea from before. ONET should have the ability where it's, it's, if you get a certain number of um, dislikes or complaints, it can automatically delete that post. So for example, YouTube, I don't think it's a fair platform. So as much as I love and I appreciate the uh, invention and, and the value from YouTube, but it's kind of being abused. Somebody can be qualified and give us a good uh, content or something that is positive and uplifting or educational entertaining, doesn't matter, but some can unfairly go and slander and uh, come. That doesn't fall under free press because they don't qualify. You have to be qualified. You have to be informed. You have to uh, use the facts. You cannot just do false accusation, okay? Uh, you can, cast your opinion. I don't like blue, I like red, I like you know green. That's a different thing. I prefer this meal, I prefer, but you cannot judge people or businesses unless you ask or for a review in a product. That's different, that's a genuine review and uh, contrast. When it comes to ONET, um, genuinely thinking about having the ability when you post something, obviously you're gonna get likes or dislikes or reactions, but if we can do uh, in, in such a way that if it gets the amount of dislikes, you know, the ratio, like let's say 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever the ratio is, uh, let's say 10%. So you get 100 likes, that is a likable uh, content. But if you get 10 of them dislikes, that is 10% of it, it should uh, probably, uh, or it gets a 50% dislike or something. So that means it's negative or being unwanted somehow. So it automatically deletes it or wipes it off. So I think I'm, I'm beginning to be more aware there has to be a different approach or um, systematic AI driven uh, social platform where only clean stuff and relevant and valuable stuff. So we need to teach the machine and program it uh, just to keep the good stuff. Like I, could program this stuff to be deleted. Not gonna do it in all founders, that would be another drag, but I would probably do something in uh, on passive. We don't wanna stuff it with just garbage. So excuse me for a minute, I'm gonna uh, step away. I might come back if you're still on, but uh, something uh, uh, came up and I have to uh, leave. Uh, I think you got my point and uh, Mr. Ash, if I may say, you know, I have a confession to make. Tell me. Uh, I do not go anymore to the own network because of what we just talked about. It's, it does not add any value at all whatsoever. And it's a waste of time, to be honest with you. And to dig for anything uh, good, you have to go through so many posts. Uh, I just added to my summary in the back office about this particular subject. I put three um bullet points for and regarding to that so hopefully that will help 
I hope uh, let's let's uh, let's not quit, uh, Peter. Let's um, fight for it. Uh, we'll do our best to educate the founders and uh, you know give them examples. But if we have to take action to kind of enforce uh, a proper utilization for this, we'll do. We'll have to do that. But uh, don't give up, okay? I go there, you know, I do get frustrated for, for wasting the time, uh, you know, scrolling down and not finding something of a value. I'd rather to find one thing that is inspiring over reading 20 pages that are just like, okay, okay, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Or uh, the, uh, uh, the language that is not in the right place. We are creating different groups for you. are welcome. And if you have a language that is not even listed, come on, whatever language you have, we'll create a group for you and speak that language all you want. But on the universal one by default, that is English, very simple, okay? And uh, pictures, I don't know, you know, if it's necessary, if you are in an event, yeah, of course, we would love to see that. Like if you're uh, in a conference with Unpassive or something relevant or uh, a meeting or uh, a poster about Unpassive or something really uh, inspiring, whatever it is. So yeah, we, we would love to see that. But somebody's showing their you know, body. I mean, come on, this is not Unpassive. Excuse me, sir. I'm no. gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back, Deepak. I, I have, have a question for you, Mr. Ash, from the webinar. If, if I catch you when I come back, I'll uh, I'll take. But I really have to take off. Okay. 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 Ash, thank you very okay. much. We hope. Yes. You uh, thank you very much, Ash. Thank you. Let's respect okay. Ash Mufara when he says he has to go. He has to go rather than trying to interject and get a few with in. We're grateful that he even came today. So let's be mindful of our P's and Q's, okay? And respect his time and his wishes. That's really important, all right? So, you know, his family comes first and obviously there's some needs right there and we want to respect that, okay? Thank you. So at this time, we can continue with our questions and comments. We have Rita's staff up first. We'll try to, if you can, try to restrict your time to about two minutes in order to, to have everybody um, be able to speak because it is already almost 10. So we've been on here almost two hours. So if you can be mindful of the time, speak maybe a couple of minutes at most. Thank you. Go ahead, Rita. Hi everyone and uh, happy new year. Um, nice to see all of you. Um, my question, like I was really, thank you Lynn anyway for saying that, but uh, my question was, um, uh, I want to direct it to Ash, but I think um, uh, Madi will be, Madi or Peter will be able to answer. Uh, it's about um, the business, like uh, Odesk. Uh, somebody today asked him about uh, somebody that if he want to register for like his business, does he has to register as the company or his own business? Because some companies, they have brokers and for example, if you put the domain of that, uh, so I say that you can register it with the company. That means if you register it under that company and you have your own domain, then it will go to, to the company. It will not come to you as a broker. So I am confused here. So which one is, is the right one? Um. Previously, Mr. Ash have mentioned that it should be your own company. But today, like you said, he did say, if you are working, I think the insurance company was mentioned today in a webinar, uh, somebody asked a question that he works for an um, insurance company and he said he can use their website, their domain name. So I am confused in that part as well. Uh, is not clear because previously he said that it should be your own business, that you own it. Or at least if you're using somebody else's company, you have to get their permission to in writing so you don't have any issue in the front. Uh, other leader can step in. That's all I know for right now. Yeah, but Peter, you know, like under like, even if you're working under insurance, because you like after 
like as you are as a broker, you will have your own domain because whatever is gonna be there, it's supposed to come to you. Because if I put the um, the domain like a uh, uh, under umbrella of that insurance, for example, and I put their domain, it will go direct to their to their database, and so it will not come to me. So that is a a place. I agree with you. I agree with you one hundred percent. Yeah. If you have your own domain name, that's what you should be using right off the bat, okay? Um, like uh, I have my own domain name on holber.com, but I chose to uh, forward that to uh, on passive.com. So if you go to my website domain, you go right to the on passive website, okay? If you have a brokerage or a uh, an insurance agency, you usually have your own name. And, and most likely you created your own website. So that's what I would be using. I, I, because <clears throat> most companies are not going to allow you to use their domain without some kind of uh, working agreement between y'all. So use your own domain name. Use your company, all your company, your personal company's information. And that way you don't have to worry about the, uh, the conglomerate or whatever that, you, that you're working for. And since you brought that up, Reed, I'm going to ask Marty something real quick. Because um, I had somebody ask me this. Uh, Marty, um, the ODES took over for OLEED, correct? Yeah. Okay. So is and the ODESC is to, to promote your standalone business, correct? Yeah, it's a help desk if for, okay. for a business that you might already have, yeah. Are you going to be able to generate leads from the company through that? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's mainly targeted to help customer. With yeah, like, yeah. Just it's, like a, your... it's a customer thing, yeah. Customer. Uh, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't, and I'm going to market, so I'm not using it. Right. And see, I was I was thinking the same thing, and I really couldn't answer this lady's question. But you know, I I think people are confusing when it was O lead meant that you could go to that, and the company is going to give you leads. Yeah, yeah I think the name wasn't that good, right? <laughs> and right. that's why he changed it. But so, I think also there's some people using. Uh, using that now or getting used to it now. And I think we'll learn more, Rita. So though people will know more as we go. I know Susie hooked it up and she's getting all the functions out and find out what it will do. I think some of the stuff we're gonna learn as we go and say, oh, I see, I could use that for this or use it for that. But right now it's kind of new. And uh, unless you have a, a business of your own, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mess with it. Okay, I agree. All right. Thank you, did Rita. That, did that answer it for you, Rita? I agree but with somehow, Marty. Too. Somehow, but it's still confusing. For example, yeah. if I have my own. Just, just remember, okay? If you Sorry? say you sold State Farm Insurance, okay? Well, you're going to have your own agency, Rita Staff Insurance. LLC, okay? And you'll have read a, read a uh, staff insurance LLC.com for a website, let's say, okay? You don't have to put, you can put in small letters or broker for, okay? State Farm Insurance. But you're using your own information, your own company. You see what I'm saying? Did I, did I say that correctly? You're using your own agency name. You're not using State Farm's name. Okay, that way people get what you're selling, what you're marketing, but they're not talking to the corporation of State Farm. Okay, uh, that's good. So for example, if I am like, I'm an affiliate and so, and how can I advertise? Is there something gonna be like designed also for people who have business and they're advertising to get a lead, like as you say? Yeah, I, I I don't see the company giving us leads to build a standalone business and not on passive. 
I don't think so. It, it, am I thinking right, uh, Marty or Peter? Well, you can run traffic to anything you want. I mean, if yeah, but you traffic want to run and traffic, leads are two different things, right? Well, I mean, traffic is <laughs> it is leads. I mean, traffic yeah. is traffic of people, and okay. if she wants to drive traffic fifty percent to her other business and fifty percent on passive, that's okay. You can also buy extra traffic and run it somewhere or, or anywhere you want. The lead part of it sounds kind of yeah. I mean. We're all going to get traffic. You can buy more. You can redirect it. You can do pretty much anything you want to do with the amount of leads you get or the amount of traffic you get. Well, you, they're calling it traffic, but traffic is leads of people. It's a, okay. It's the same thing. I agree. Okay, I understand. Hey, Ron, can I jump in here for just a second? And, yes, go ahead, Jeffrey. And and thank you, Marty, for clearing that up too a little bit. But when we launch and when we have our own domain and we set that up whether as a reseller or an independent business uh, owner or a customer that traffic those leads and you're right they're synonymous marty it's leads traffic it's it's coming those are your customers coming to you through the marketing that on passive will do as part of the subscription right it's one of the tools in the subscription costs that we pay for so whether we're doing that as a reseller for on passive and on passive is now generating leads for us to sell on passive products to, or whether we're an independent state farm person or you got your own business, whatever, we will be getting the leads and, and traffic through the subscriptions that we're paying for on a monthly basis. And yes, you can buy additional leads if you want to, which probably would be a good thing to do. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Rita. Remember the time, we're getting close to closing time. So Deepak, if you could express yourself and stay within a couple minutes, please. Go yes, ahead, I, have, Deepak. I have two questions and one suggestion. My suggestion is that there is nothing to leave own network because we have brains, we can use our brains. Why we are using and going on another another people's post we come and we post our content what we want to post like we can we ourselves can post good things if there are 70 percent people those who who don't have brains but there are 30 percent people who have brain they can come they can uh, share useful content and just go from uh, own it and uh, uh, if you want to search something very important like i know Dr. Will Williams is very intelligent. Dr. Michael Williams is intelligent. So I can just write their name on search and I can search their post and easily I can go through their post. Why to go good morning and good evening people? Let them do. There are all kinds of people, intelligent, normal, rich, poor. What we can do with them? There is their thinking, their, their internet, their everything. So we don't have to be like negative uh, regarding this because it's hard. Let me... we got we got that part covered what are what's your question Deepak? yes my question is uh, like uh, if i don't have a thousand people direct and ten thousand indirect in my team and i want to open a personal office as founder of on passive can i do that uh, and i want to sell on passive product professionally through my office can i do that uh, I, I will do that from my own personal expense. I will open from my pocket. If I don't have a, because those who have a thousand direct and uh, 10,000 indirect company will give them, will give them some money or something like that to open. So if I don't uh, go on that level, can I do it on my level? This is my first question. So I think so Marty sir has uh, know the answer. You can share the you can share the business right now. Share it with as many people as you want. That's that's what I did. That's what people are doing. You don't need a special time to do that. Do it now. He wants share to do it. It. he wants to do a standalone office for on yeah, If you do it a standalone office, you would have to get permission from the company in order to use their name on like a 
a storefront or something, they have to go through the company to make sure everything is, is but, in order. But listen, a standalone office is not going to get you people. All right. Not standalone, Matlab, for like I am a founder, okay? I have to sell, uh, I am a reseller of all the products, right? What I will do, I will, I will, I will start selling my products on my behalf through other like, uh, like employees through other employees, they will be working for me and they will start selling on passive through my platform. I, I, I mean to say this. Uh, it, it, it has to be legit and you have to do it according to the laws of on passive. You can't, yes, yes. yeah. So if you follow the NDA, you can do it. Just follow what it says. You can't, I don't know what you I mean know. about selling your business, but anyway, you, you share it, that people get in, they don't get in, they don't get in. But uh, I can. Uh, <laughs> if, if I want to add uh, any, any advertisement that you do, they have to go no, through no. on passive for approval. Any anything that you market or anything like that, I have to be to go. Through. What I'm saying, uh, like uh, there there are two options. We don't have to do anything. Then also we will get paid, right? But if I wish to do something, like if I wish to sell my on passive products to the world, and I just want to organize a small office, not like so big office like Hyderabad, small office where I can work and there are few employees, like five to 10 employees, they can, can work. You, you can sell the product, but you don't need a building. It's digital. Why would you get it, a building? But you know, uh, people have to sit with laptops and computer and desktop. Oh, okay, on. whatever, that's different. You're, you're, making a, uh, you're making a cafe with a bunch of laptops. So yeah, I guess if you want to do that, you can do that. Hey, okay. Deepak. Deepak, this is Jeffrey. The short answer to your question is no. There's no. only going to be a thousand no. global leaders and there's certain criteria that has to be met and approved through on passive. And then on passive will subsidize those offices. Period. You're not going to See? be able to set up something like that on your own. See? However, everybody's going to set up their own domains and it's going to get approved by on passive. So if that's what you want to do as a reseller, then that, that's the course to go. Okay, I'm asking you, do will you do will you resell the product? Obviously, every one of us. Should. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, you will do it from home, from your uh, laptop. Absolutely. I'm doing it. Absolutely. Okay. It's, absolutely. It's digital. It's same, thing, same thing. I want to do it in a small office. Why? Why I can't do that? I'm asking this. You can. Go ahead. Deep ahead. Deep back. Deep back. You will not be designated as a global leader with on passive. Oh no, no, no. I'm not asking that. I'm not okay. you didn't you didn't get my question. No, no, I'm you saying, can have a laptop anywhere you want, back of your car, you can get a little building, whatever you want to do, okay. and so you can other, share the business. It doesn't matter. In other matter. words, you want to have 10 people in an office that are not founders but are reselling for you. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Sir got the point, and this is all what I'm talking. Why wouldn't you just get those people to be founders? Uh, I I have a lot of team. Uh, I'm working as a, I have a lot of team. I have a lot of accounts. Still, I need more and more people because I have sure. several accounts to get more and more people. And one second question is that I have data, real data of 2,000 million people with me right now 2000 million what we have in that name their business or their personal name their email id their home address or their business address and their phone number and i will utilize that data 2000 million people data into uh, on passive of selling my on passive products tools to them and marketing everything well you got to so be careful you got to be careful you don't spam people. You can buy data from anybody. If they don't permit you to send them information, you can get marked as spam and lose everything you have. Firstly, I will call them, uh, sir. My name is Deepak, or uh, we are. Uh, my name is Deepak, or whatever my my uh, website well, name. You, you better you better start now because two hundred million people is going to take you a while to get down that list. 
I did. I started now only. I started Deepak, now. Only. Deepak, I, I want to give you this warning, okay? I do know someone who spamming businesses, like sitting there 10, using 10 people, use their computer and entering people email and their account was suspended, okay? So I, I, I wanted to give, I wanted to let you know that whatever you are doing, just make sure that stay away from spamming people. If you were to have someone, let's say, if you wanna open an office um, and, and, and you cannot even use the word on passive on outside of your door because it's not designated as an on passive office, right? But if you wanna have an office where you have, where you hire 10 people to go there and just market, your link or market to other people, I think it is acceptable, but it's not like you can open an on passive office and then resale the merchandise, you know? So I don't think that is, I would say no, I agree with what I, Jeffrey said. I will mind. not do anything like that from where I will lose my position, my founder, yeah. I will never do All that. Right. Well, you've, got, you've got several opinions, Deepak, don't try to invent the wheel, okay? Oh, the never, already never invented, do. so. We're going to move on, okay? That is something you're going to have to get with the company about, not the leaders, okay? So thank you very much. Oh, Susan. You're unmuted. You need to unmute, Susan. You're still muted. All there right. Sorry. Couldn't get it unmuted. Uh, I'll make it quick. I just was... Um, noticed that when I was setting up my accounts, when they were asking the birth date, they weren't letting me pass it. And for old people like me that the, I, I was born like way years ago, it wasn't allowing me to enter like my birth year. Okay. They wanted you to go to back month by month by month. So I just wanted to bring that to attention that maybe that's something we can um, get corrected in the future. Okay, thank you, Susan. Unless it was just me, but I noticed it every time I was setting up my different um, uh, accounts to send people stuff. Okay, great. Sounds good. All right, folks. It's, thank you. Uh, it's, thank you. It's 10 o'clock. We have the last person that is going to speak is going to be Bruce. Okay, so that means we need to get through seven people. So we need to do expeditiously. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep it to the point, please. Dr. Benny, yes. come on down. Yeah, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to each and everyone. And yes, I have just short question. Is it true that we have to utilize uh, uh, Gmail? Uh, since my personal account, I have a lot of people and I have, um, a Yahoo. Is you it don't... okay for me to continue with my Yahoo? Yes. Good. Next. Yes. What people are saying is Gmail is more friendly than, than, the, Yahoo, than some Yahoo, of the others. If Yahoo's working, Dr. Benny, you're go good with, to go. No go problem. With it. Go with it. Thank you. One more question, please. Um, I have my team member in Cameroon that I utilize um, my phone number, well, not my own phone number, but another team member here in America, like the 240 number. And now that she's in Cameroon, the phone number there is 011237. So, but if she wants to utilize the email, right? Her Gmail, they are asking for the last two digits number. Let's say my last two digit is two. I mean, two six right so since that there is we have a time difference right so whenever she wants to utilize her gmail account they are asking her for that two digit right but when she calls let's say i'm sleeping now what she wants to do is that she wants to recreate another account utilizing her phone number in cameroon is it okay allow is it allow please is it okay? Will it be a problem? Do you mean she wants to create another position and co founders and use it? No, no, no. no, no. no. I think the Gmail, if I uh, understand you correctly, Dr. Benny, 
they she want to change the email because the phone number is incorrect. You she want to use a Cameroon phone number instead of yes, US please. Phone number. Yes, please. Uh, in a setting for Gmail, you should be able to change this, uh, the, the, the phone number in there. They will probably send you a verification to verify that you are who you said you are. And then from that point, you can change your phone number to the new number that you have. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, I mean if, if, if there is a way to do that, then, then there is no need to recreate any. No. Please try, try it now. Between now and Monday, you should have plenty of time to try it. So, Thank you. Okay. That's all I wanted. Absolutely. I appreciate this. My pleasure. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Felix, you got 10 minutes. Come on down. Hi. Um, I have a quick question. Um, when uh, I was, uh, okay, I became a founder back in... Uh, couple of months ago. Um, and then I decided to, um, what's called, um, uh, register my wife. So back in that time, um, when uh, you go to register, there's option uh, for uh, uh, the payment option. You have option to use a cash app. You have option to use a visa or credit card and all that. So I, I used a cash app that day to register my wife. And up to now, the account is not active. She's, uh, anytime we log in, they say, please pay. So I, uh, I joined uh, this leadership council, French leadership council. We tried to raise a ticket to support. Um, so I didn't hear anything. I did it myself later on, I didn't hear anything. Uh, last time I did uh, join uh, another group in the morning and they told me to, you know, do uh, send another request. So I did send another request with the payment, um, attachment, everything. Um, as of right now, I'm waiting to see if uh, that account will be successful. Um, I think Ms. Julie is helping me right now because I got an email from her. Right, well, Julie's helping you. She will, she will be on it, Felix, trust me. She, she is overwhelmed right now with emails. So just be patient. If you've discussed it with Julie, one leader, that's all you need to do is discuss it with one leader. My, my, my concern is I didn't discuss with her, but uh, the one that I sent the email, but uh, I end up by getting an email from uh, Julie, I think. I think, but, uh, you know, i just making sure that I'm good. Felix. May I step yes. in real quick? How long ago would you make the payment on Cash App? Payment uh, back in, I think, September. Okay, that's a while. Do you have a proof of the payment? Did you take a snapshot of? I, I did send everything. Um, the snapshot, I mean, the payment is same as uh, the, the owner, everything when I was making a payment. So, okay, so. I have to so, so please. Peter, here, can I just say something there? Here's what Sorry. you need to do. Uh, Peter, well, I'm already uh, dealing with that and I've passed it on to Julie. Okay. Um, all of those screenshots have been taken. Felix attended our, um, on, came on to our Australian webinar and asked these questions. So those things have already come through to me um, because he was unable to find Julie's particulars. So I said to send them on to our email here in Australia and I would pass it on to Leadership Council, which I did with Julie. So all of those things, as Julie said, um, or as um, Marty said, you know, Julie is inundated. We just have to wait. Um, Julie has asked for a couple of things, which was the screenshot of the um, cash app uh, with the dollar sign at the beginning. We, I have passed that on to Julie as well. And um, Julie is dealing with it. So people just need to understand that, you know, it, it is patient. You know, we can go through these things a hundred times, but if you've sent it to a leadership council, it is going to be looked at. Just be patient, please, Felix. I, I know that um, you know it has been a while, but it also was a while before you actually sent it through to, or you know, got it through to anyone. So it is a process of just one at a time. So I hope that's helped a little bit. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, um, Thank you. Yeah, if I could say really quick, and this is another example too that um, I, I did, I received from Narelle and thank you Narelle for helping out. And then Felix sent me a screenshot of Cash App 
And all you say is, please, my cash app at this number, uh, see the attach. So my response to you is, I don't know who you are because that was the first message you sent to me, right? So if you sent to me, just, just please be specific. My name is this, my email is this. I've already talked to Norel, right? Because on the email that Norel sent to me, it was another email that was communicated with her. So I was totally confused. So when you sent me that message, I wasn't sure who you were, right? So yes. please, you are going to send it to one person. Felix, Narelle has already handed over to me and now you could, uh, I, you could follow up with me, but please be patient. And if you already send it to a leader, please follow up with that leader, right? Don't go to Chris and say, Chris, um, I sent you, I sent Julia cash app. Chris will have no idea what's going on. I, please I, I understand, that's my mistake. Because when I send it to, you know, it's a lot of uh, uh, leadership council. I don't know exactly. They send me an uh, email and uh, attach everything and send it to that person. I didn't know who I sent. But I got a message, um, the second email is from another person saying to, send my uh, um, cash up ID. So I didn't know what was going on, but I just sent the cash up ID. And then uh, you, re uh, I mean, uh, you ask me what was that? And I tried to explain. And you say you got, I believe. That's so, okay, Felix. I think that, um, we got yeah. it, Felix. Just wait. We got it. Yeah. I think, Felix, so that um, passing it on to me, knowing that I was going to pass it to Leadership Council, once it's gone to them, and maybe that's my fault, you know, that I should have perhaps been more specific to you to say it is now in the hands of Julie Wen, so she will be looking after it. So I apologise on my behalf, but, yeah, if you pass it on to somebody and they've passed it to Leadership Council, it's definitely going to be looked at. So Too many hands in a cookie mix. Okay, put too many hands in the cookie mix, you get bad cookies. Okay, yeah, so the thing is, leadership council with the one leader. and lead, leaders are leaders are out there trying to help as right. much as they can to yeah, pass right. these messages on to leadership council because Julie's not always awake when Australia is awake, um, mm -hmm. and other people come on to our webinars as well. So from all over the world. And uh, sometimes they're just looking for answers, and we just give them an easy way of saying hey, listen, send it to us because we will hand it on to Leadership Council for you. Thank Knowing you. that those particular uh, things that Julie has asked for before with just being precise as to what is, get sent, is getting sent through rather than somebody sending this big long email. So I'm sort of just, I suppose, stepped in the middle and said, hey, I'll help you out. Here's the specifics. I'll send them over to Julie and Julie can take it from there because it's nice and precise. So good um, well, it's going to be yeah. the point is it's going to be handled. That's the great thing. So, so. Is, the funder, it, it, is the funder position still open, please? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you, Felix. We're going to move along to Marie. Yes. yes. Marie, come on down. Marie. Marie Elando. Unmute yourself. Okay, we'll come back. Bruce, go ahead. You want to say something, Bruce? Yes, I had a question. That, you know, for a long time, O'Mail was blank. And then he started giving us a place to put things in. And every time he did, the little thing spun around. They did nothing. Now it's opened up, and I called Brad, and he told me what to do. So I sent an email to myself. And each one that I sent, was exactly what my email was from before, except it was uh, omail.ai. Except uh, my question was, didn't we, uh, weren't we gonna have a, a choice of what our main email would be? Or are we gonna be able to change that before it gets launched? Bruce, uh, your first, um basically what they gave you. And if you agree to that and says continue, it's a done deal. Basically you're only allowed one and that's, if you already chose it, it cannot be changed. Um, in the future, when, when we launch, you're gonna have a do, your own domain name 
and you will be have an unlimited amount of emails. But for right now, this is just for testing. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna. So when we launch, we're gonna be able to change it or no? It's not gonna be the same. It'll be uh, let's say Bruce.com uh, or Bruce at Bruce.com, for example. Uh, the email or support at Bruce.com. You know, something like that. So you'll have unlimited amount of emails under your domain. It's not gonna be uh, O mail, for example. It's gonna be under your own domain name. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks, Bruce. Thank, thank you, Peter. Thank you, Bruce. Oh, Robin, come on down. Hi, Ron. Thank you very much. Lynn, Ron, another very good evening. Um, let me help and recap a little bit of what's gone on today so that people can help us. First of all, everybody on here is a leader. Everybody on here is a founder. Between this evening and this afternoon with Ash, we had approximately 8,000 founders who've received the news today. There are 40 LC members approximately speaking different languages. And there are only 24 hours a day of which those who are working so hard are working up to 20 hours a day to get all of these issues uh, uh, looked after and taken care of for everybody. That leaves more than 1 million founders who do not know about the email 72 hour last minute change that's coming up in the next few days. Founders are now the only people holding founders back. On passive is not holding us back anymore. It's founders. So we need to come together as founders from all different countries, all different nationalities, all different languages to help each other, whether they are in our own quote team or whether they are around the world. This is critical time people. And this is what needs to be shared out there because if this is not done, Founders are going to not be able to get the finances, the reason why they joined in the first place, so that the company can actually do what the company said it was going to do for them in the first place. So this is crunch time, this is serious. We need to help everybody, all founders to get caught up and ready for the next step in order to have the company, as I say, doing exactly what we said, we've been told from the very beginning of what it's going to do to help us. We can only move forward as a company as quickly as the slowest member gets caught up. Do you understand that this train is moving ahead now? But if the slowest person holds us up six months, that's six months before Ash can do anything else unless he takes some very drastic steps, which he started to outline this evening. We need to respect, we need to be patient, and we need to be kind to everybody as we step forward to help in these last few days and hours to get everybody to the same level. This is something that we need to take really, really seriously because this is our company individually and nobody is going to be left behind. Ash has said that from day one, but if we don't help each other, there will be a lot of people left behind. If you are on your own with your own one position and you get this, wonderful, congratulations. And you can reach out and help other founders and other groups because you go to other webinars, you belong to other groups, help them. And if you are somebody who has shared this with other people and have built, quote, a team and you have others with you, please make sure that they are all brought up to speed as well so that they know of all of this. And in turn, everybody then can help the other million plus founders get caught up so that we can all benefit from this beautiful, beautiful company. The other thing is quickly on a personal note, I would like to say thank you so much to all of you for the prayers that you've been sending to me and to my family now. Um, unfortunately, it's a, a long road ahead for all of us. It, it's tough, but I also want to extend this to say, please, as founders, pray for everybody, pray for all founders, to stay well. Some of you know the names of people. We don't know everybody who is ill. We don't know everybody's family members who are not well at this point. And COVID, like it or not, and every other illness is running rampant out there. We need to stay strong. We need to stay well. And we need to be together in this. That was the mission that Ash came forward with at the very, very beginning. Holding hands, helping each other around the world, all colors, all denominations, all faiths, 
Let's not blow this, people. We've missed out on other opportunities. Let's do this together, do it properly, and be the proper representatives that we can do and be to help Ash move this into a world that so desperately needs all of our help, all of our abilities, capabilities, and prayers. So every day, let's all of us take a moment to pray for on passive and for all founders and all founders' families that we get through this all together so we can celebrate when we have these wonderful launches and all these beautiful apples falling from the trees, making the most incredible apple pies that we can share with each other. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for letting me speak, everyone. Beautifully said again, Robin. Thank you very much. Um, Gustavo, I promised you in the beginning, I'm sorry, if you could wait the question and answer. So I'm going to take a decision uh, to let you be the last one to speak. The absolutely the last one to speak. How about that, Gustavo? Come on down. Thank you very much, Ron. Well, what we hear right now with our sister, who is, uh, I don't remember her, her name. Um, I think that this is very important, what she said, is, is to become really very aware that a lot of people, like right now we are only just 250 people in the, in the webinar, that they don't, they are not updated. So what I am doing right now, I don't know, it will go to help to everybody. We are a family. And Ash wanted, we, rec we, we can become really professionals. And what is professional? This is that we updated all our team on what is the key points of what they have to follow. Because most of the, 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 the people cannot come in the webinars or sometimes yes, and lose the messages, important messages to be a professional a company as we are. So what I suggest to everybody is that people that cannot come into the webinars to inform what is going on and update it, is just to bring the leaders of the team and bring the resume concretely what they have to be aware. So they, if they cannot come into the webinars, they already know what they have to do. So that is the, this unity. That is what we have to prepare and help us, as she said, to be professional. We have to be professional because when we will go to lunch, we are an, a company that will go to be an, a unicorn company and a big, very big company to help the world. And we have to be professional. We can, we understand, for example, net messages, etc. cetera. He's, he's, he was very clear. Of course, I did, I recognized that I thought that we are in the stabilization and only just to help with the traffic. But now, as clear as is already done, is that we have to bring value so we have to share with all the teams, people, founders, that they have not really possible come and know what we have to do. Is that the reason that we are have to be in unity to help the others that they are not, let's say, um, all the times in the webinars. This is my suggestion. And I think so that we have, we have all together one aim is to bless the world. And if we bless the world, we have to be professional because even when we launch, they possible know what is this? This is only just a, a circus or whatever and saying hello and I love you and whatever. No, we have to come become and to understand that right now we are very close to be as a company. And that is what I want to say, only just to, 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 to uh, let's understand what is the aim of Unpassive? I love that Unpassive, but I have to be professional to share good, important information and to keep all my team uh, aware of what is going on, what they have to do. And I invite to everybody here that because remember how many our founders we are, one million something, and right now we are only 238. So, 
the most of people, they don't know what is going on right now. And possible tomorrow we have to wear two, three, four webinars and they even cannot come in. So a lot of people possible that's not, don't have the, the key points and important information that we have to share to be ready to go to have successful. And be, be, be blessed everybody and also blessed to the world. Ronnie, you're muted. You don't read lips? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gustavo. Uh, you can forget it. I gave you all my praises. So, if you oh, yes. Hear, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank no, you. Again. I, I didn't Kristen, hear you um, because the, the signal was not possible to hear nothing about what you said. So, it's, it's all good. It was all good. So, don't, don't, don't. Uh, there are some notes in the chat. Julie, would I like you to review before we um, close this thing out? So if you'd look into the chat for some of her notes there. And I'm going to let my beautiful co-host, Lynn, close us out. Certainly. Um, when you look at Julie's notes, it's at the time of 10, 18 p.m. That'll help you find uh, her notes. There are a couple of rather long notes. It's two separate notes that you should, uh, you can, what I think with the Zoom, the best thing to do is just screenshot it. So all you do is bring it up so that you can see both of her notes. You should be able to see both, if not do two screenshots, and then you can look at it at a later date because I don't think you can copy and paste Zoom chats. It should be a function but it is not because I've tried. You cannot copy and paste, but at least you can screenshot. But we want to thank you all for coming today. We had good, uh, good participation. I think 260 or something or more at one time. So that was a really, really good turnout. And we did post the incorrect webinar link by mistake. So I'm sure some people didn't make it because of that. If, if that's the case, we apologize, but we do now have the correct link and we will use that same link for the next three months. So if you cannot Lynn? find our link, just copy the link that you use today. Save it in a certain place because we're going to use that same link for three months. Yes, Lynn. Engineer Mike. Yes, yes. ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. I know Ron said that was the last question, but I'm reading this chat. A lady called Kiri. She says she has a very important question to ask. I don't know if you can let her do that. Please, she's in the panel. Thank you. Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you. My question is about Oblast. If I wanted to create an Oblast campaign, do I need a separate business entity? For example, if I wanted to give to human trafficking, okay, raise money for human trafficking, how would that um, be presented when when traffic is going through to my old blast um, campaign, because what you're seeing is um, on passive um, digital entities. So how would that work? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Thank you. Well, Anybody Carrie, can go I, ahead and take that. Yes, oh, go yes. ahead, Peter. Thank you, yeah. Peter. Since I met with Ash specifically about old bless, and we talked about many things that we don't know yet. And this is one of the things that we don't know exactly how it's gonna be ironed out. Uh, Ash does have a plan. Um, is some of them, if, if it's gonna be for a specific reason, like what you have uh, for uh, trafficking, uh, it's probably gonna have some requirements, some form that you need to fill out uh, with additional information and it would go through approval process. And after that, it will get approved, I'm sure and uh, everything will be official. So let's wait and see what's uh, Oblast gonna bring on and we'll iron out all the details as it comes out. All right, thank you. And thank you, Mike. Thank you for asking your question, Kiri. Hope to see you again at our webinar. It's every week on Friday. So at this will time, be. I think we're, yeah, thank you. 
So I think we're going to wrap up because we it's almost 1030. My goodness, it's 1027 p.m. We've been here for almost two and a half hours. We usually try to cap it at two hours to respect your time. There are a lot of questions. And of course, we, we were blessed with Ash Mofar's presence today. How grateful are we that he came and shared with us today? We're so lucky. So today I would like to acknowledge the attendees for without attendees, we would not have a webinar. I also want to acknowledge the people that help us with this webinar. You know, we have Marty who hosts the webinar for us, Chris Johnson, who's always there for us, Bruce, who helps bring attendees to the panelists list. Julie's always here for us, Julie Wynn. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, I'm gonna talk, mention the people who are on the leadership council who are here today. Robin Noble, thank you very much. You're always there for us. Bruce, oh, not Bruce, Bruce helped us with the panelist stuff. Bill Must, uh, quiet soul, but always there in spirit for us. We appreciate him very much. Chris Johnson, as I mentioned, always there for us. Jeffrey Morlock, who always has good feedback for us and input, thank you. Mafus from Bangladesh, quietly here, but present. Thank you, Mafus, for being here. Uh, Marty, I mentioned him, he's always our host, he's always our resource for us. Julie, Peter Schurer, thank you very much. You had really good advice and information today, thank you. Viviana Rodriguez as well, thank you. And to my co-host Ron Hubbard, for without him, we would not have Friday Night Live. So be sure to join us every week on Friday, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Lately, we have been making this webinar a founders webinar because we feel that's where the needs are. There's need for information and guidance. So we will probably continue along that line. You can always count on seeing the webinar link in the back office. And normally it is posted in the webinar tab. So please join us again and thank you. At this time, we will allow you to unmute and say aloha to one another, and we'll see you Push. next Push. week, Friday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Bye. 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 from Houston. Bye. Bye. from Houston. Gmail login thing. Bye. 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 Just another great night. Hey, hey. Bye, the bunch of noise. Well, it's time to go. Goodbye. I'm going to miss you all. Farewell. The whole leadership house of members. I'll see you. Time to go. I'll see you. Hey, hey, hey. See you all later. I love you all. I'm from Canada. Love you.